I get it. People are in the messages are going to be like, well, you know, you got to be more forgiving. More Everybody is a sinner. Yeah, that's great. Everybody's a sinner. Absolutely. I 100% agree. But if the preacher or the priest of that church was a murderer and advocating that murder was okay and that, yeah, you should bring more murderers into the church, openly saying you're murderers and being fine with it and not, you know, go out and sin no more, that would be a problem, would it not? So, welcome back, everybody. Um, today, we're going to take a look at uh, a few clips that basically tell me that America is doomed. Um, we're all doomed, honestly. The ridiculousness of the people that hit the internet on a daily basis. It feels like my brain cells are dying every day I, I, I turn on my laptop. Every day that I look at Twitter or or Instagram or YouTube or any of this, people feel like they're getting dumber and more horrific and actually more dangerous. Um, so our first clip is through ABC News. They're going to explain to you why Wendy's has now become the new Uber. Before we get into the video, I need to tell you a secret. I need you to hit the like and the subscribe button. I need to fight against the YouTube algorithm. Because I'm on the road to 1,000. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's get into it. Two Dave singles. How much would it cost? You could ask, but starting soon, depending on the time of day, you might get a different answer. Wendy's, the country's second largest burger chain with 6,000 locations, announcing that starting next year, menu prices will fluctuate during the busiest times of day, meaning you could be paying as much as a dollar more for that Baconator during the lunch rush. Historically, companies just set one price that was constant across time. Uh, pricing algorithms allow companies to change prices throughout the day. Wendy's CEO announcing his company will spend $20 million on high-tech digital menu boards that can update prices in real time, meaning surge pricing, which used to be reserved for rideshare companies, airlines, and hotels, could be coming to a drive through near you. During the busy times, they can obviously increase profits then. And also some consumers will want to shift to the less busy times. Prices are lower. Before it's even taken effect, the new surge pricing is getting a frosty reception online. With one user on X writing, surge pricing is just price gouging by any other name. Wendy's telling ABC News in a statement that the decision can allow them to be competitive and flexible with pricing, motivate customers to visit, and provide them with the food they love at a great value. So you see that now your biggie bag is going to cost more or less, depending on the time of day, that you go get said biggie bag. Honestly, the, Wendy's is, is decent food. I will say when it comes to the fast food chains, Wendy's is probably, you know, I think better than McDonald's. Obviously, they don't do the same as McDonald's does, the same numbers overall, but they do have better food. But with that said, I believe that people should just protest. I believe we all should show up to Wendy's and stand there at their highest search time, the time that they think they're going to make the most money. We should all go to Wendy's and just stand there, not order nothing, and just not buy anything. You want to try to gouge us because that's what it is. Let's call it what it is. You're trying to price gouge us to make a couple extra bucks off your Baconators and your Biggie Bags and your Frosties. All because of why? Really? I mean, the search price, it does, is it cost you more money at a certain time of day? But it's costing us more money. Now, do we as customers get to choose? You know, we want to pay you less? Well, at certain times, you're trying to charge us more. And you have the right as a business to, to make your pricing structure basically whatever you want. So, I mean, is it price gouging? Yes, but price gouging, I think more of a, like an item that's a necessity, almost like toilet paper or gasoline. So we just need to speak with our pocketbooks and our wallets. Just don't buy from Wendy's no more. Go to Chick-fil-A. If Chick-fil-A starts it, go somewhere else. You know, I mean, Wendy's, you know, just doesn't get their money, get our money. They want to make things more flexible for themselves. You know, thanks, Joe Biden. Your economy has is costing us in so many more ways than than what we could even imagine. 30% more for chicken, sometimes 100% more for beef. 
uh, 35% more for eggs. I mean, and now Wendy's is trying to do surge pricing for fast food. What's next? Is there going to be like an upcharge for, for Domino's? Is Domino's gonna say, oh, uh, well, we're gonna have to charge you for every single ounce of cheese, pay per slice pizza? Is that what's gonna happen? That's what it feels like. Honestly, again, just pro let's protest Wendy's. Let's not buy from Wendy's anymore. So let's move on to our next clip. So our next clip is from a church um, that is ran by a couple women who, you know, unfortunately are so stupid uh, as priests and preachers that they are making an unconnected remarks about the rainbow and LGBTQ and how, you know, it's okay to allow this into the church. Not to bring them in to pray for them, but that it's okay to continue to sin the way they do as they're being invited into the church. So let's take a look at this clip. Beloved babes of God, for today's pride reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 43. Look upon the rainbow and praise the one who made it. It is exceedingly beautiful in its brightness. We're girls and we're priests. We just might slip a Dolly Parton or Taylor Swift lyric into our sermons. We're girls and we're priests. We're gonna remind you that the first person to preach the resurrected Christ was a woman. We're girls and we're priests. Of course we're gonna have a liturgical Barbie in the children's ministry area with matching vestments. We're girls and we're priests. We're gonna match our nails to the liturgical season. Girls and we're priests. Of course, we're gonna twirl our possible. We're girls and we're priests, and we're gonna tell you that yes, girls can do this job. So now you see, kind of disgusting, right? As a Christian myself, she's taking the Book of Sirach, including that she has a rainbow Bible, and then she's saying pride reading of the day, um, and then using you know the beautiful rainbow created by God, you know, and then attributing that to LGBTQ. Don't they understand? Is she too stupid to realize that God didn't create the rainbow for them? He created the rainbow as a promise not to flood the earth like, once more. It, it's so sickening how they they are good with if trying to bring in these, all these trannies and these trans people and these LGBTQ where, you know, again, and I get it, people are in the messages are going to be like, well, you know, you got to be more forgiving, more, everybody is a sinner. Yeah, that's great. Everybody's a sinner. Absolutely. I 100% agree. But if the preacher or the priest of that church was a murderer and advocating that murder was okay and that, yeah, you should bring more murderers into the church, openly saying you're murderers and being fine with it and not, you know, go out and sin no more, that would be a problem, would it not? Well, this should be also be a problem. And then attribute your service to God about matching nails and how you twirl. And we're girl priests. We can do this. We're girl priests. We can do that. Great. So are you telling me that there should be no equality between you and male priests? This is a bunch of Protestant nonsense. Slipping Dolly Parton and Taylor Swift lines into, you know, these, these so... And it's the democratic liberalness of it all, right? It's not even, you know, uh, it's for God. Now it starts to feel like you're just using God as a byproduct for your pop culture references. That's what it feels as if that's what you're doing. And then getting on TikTok and promoting the idea of it. And then they follow up saying, yes, we're girls. We're going to remind you that girls can do this job. This is the exact, re exact reason why they didn't think women could do the job in the first place. Because this nonsense. You're literally allowing evil into the church openly it's not that you're you're again i want to repeat myself it's not as if you're inviting these people in to save them from their sin and help them move past that sin you're saying that it's not even a sin in the first place you have pride bible readings if there was any way to prove that satan can twist you know religion to favor him this would be it this is a perfect example of how satan works you have twisted, he has twisted enough about the religion to move you away from God. I was reminded, a, you know, a while back because everybody says the Ten Commandments because when you say the commandments of God, you think the Ten Commandments of Moses. Well, I was reminded by my brother and my sister-in-law that there was commands that God gave humans 
prior to the Ten Commandments. And the first one is, go out, be fruitful, and multiply. And let's be clear, you could possibly, as LGBTQ, go out and multiply. But are you? You're probably not. Let's be honest. Let's not try to muddy the waters and be pedantic about it. Let's be clear that these people are not godly at all. You, you can't have openly trans and gay people and be godly at the same time. You can pretend to be because I want you, it, it would be me saying that murder is okay. It would be me saying, you know, praising a false idol is okay. It would be me saying that, you know, uh, thieving and lying is okay. It's, it's, it's perfectly fine. You can openly be a thief and a liar and, you know, be welcomed into the church and maintain being a thief and a liar without having to change that. As if, you know, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being a thief and a liar. And that's not true. You know, it, so it kind of disgusts me the way it is. I hope everybody sees this. They, they know what church this is from. And stay very clear from this church. Do not go to this church. This is my advice to you. Run. Run as fast and as far as you, ways you can from these people. They are not good for you. They are promoting evil.